guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm so excited I'm going to be working on my lantern that I bought at Walmart that looks like a house it didn't cost very much and I can't remember off the top of my head exactly how much it was but it wasn't a lot but you'll need the house lantern and my Walmart still sells them and it opens up like that so you'll need something like this or you could get a smaller house and do that um, then you're going to need some trees and I got this at Walmart it was two dollars it's a bigger tree you can see up against the house how big it is and then I got two like medium trees I would really say and they were a dollar a piece and then I bought three of these little tiny trees and they were um, 84 cents okay so I think I'm going to use all three of these smaller ones we'll see okay then you're going to need some ornaments from the Dollar Tree and then I picked up this pack of wreaths from Hobby Lobby they were $1.99 but they were 50% off then you're going to need four of these um, glass candle holders from Dollar Tree. Then you're going to need berries in whatever color you want. Um, I just wanted these pretty silver ones and you're not gonna need this many, I don't think, but I have one, two, three, I have five from Dollar Tree. Then I picked this up from Michael's and it just looks so snowy and cold. And it was $10, but it was 40% off. And then I picked up this little Santa Claus at Michael's. He was $5, but he was 50% off, okay? And he's like a little gingerbread um, Santa Claus. And then you're going to need some fairy lights of your choice. Um, I'm just reusing ones that I have for fall. I think I got these probably at Target's Dollar Spot last year. Then you're gonna need some ribbon, whatever color you want. Um, I'm just using this that I've had and cut you a small piece of that. Then you're going to need some gesso to seal the galvanized metal so that you can paint over it. And then I think I'm gonna use the Waverly Chalk Paint in Cashew. It's just this really pretty creamy beige. And then I'm either going to use, or maybe a combination of all, it's hard to tell, some Apple Barrel Nutmeg Brown. I just really like that color. And, or the Real Brown from Apple Barrel, and this is a gloss or the Territorial Beige from Apple Barrel, and maybe even my Folk Art Metallic Chocolate Brown. I'm not sure. Um, then you're gonna need some Deco Art Snow Text. Now, I picked this up at um, Hobby Lobby. It was $4.99 when I purchased mine, but they said that they considered, the girl that checked me out said she considered this Christmas so she gave me a discount on it, but you could always use your 40% off coupon. You're gonna need um, a glue gun, something to cut your stems with, and you're gonna need um, either a palette knife or a little um, painting knife like this. You could use the plastic as well, I just had that. A well-loved brush for dry brushing. And you really needed a small foam brush, but I only had this, so I may try to use this. And maybe some of these smaller brushes, we'll see. So that is really all you're going to need. Oh, except one other thing. And you're going to need one of these little 1 8 I think it is, inch plywood um, that I have left over in the garage where we use so many other uh, projects. And it's cut 10 by 10, and I'm gonna hot glue these on there to make a base so that is all you need so let me get everything situated and I'll be back and we'll get started okay I've put down some foil to protect my surface and like I said I don't have a smaller foam brush so I'm gonna try with this big one 
And we'll just start putting our gesso on here. Just to give us, and you've seen me do this several times, but you just wanna put a coating of it on there. I think you could actually see it better like that. Just to seal the surface and get it to where our paint will adhere nicely. And you don't have to be particular. You just want it on there and you want it, um, you know, not real thick, not real thin. Okay, so I know you know what I'm doing. So for time purposes, I'm gonna hop off here and finish putting this gesso all over this little lantern and I'll be right back. Okay, here it is, the gesso's all over. I think it is so pretty. You could stop right here if you wanted and just make kind of like a farmhouse look out of it. I think it's really cute. I wasn't particular. I just went down through there just putting gesso. Um, and I, like I said, I really do love it. And I just took it in there and set it on, um, used a hair dryer on it on low cool and then I bumped it up to warm high okay and it's nice and dry so let's go ahead and continue this now what I think I want to do is use this Waverly chalk paint in cashew okay now I'm gonna open my paint and just I don't know I'll probably have to pour this out in a paper plate and I like the effect actually that the large brush gave me. So I think I'm gonna continue with that with this and just go right over the top with this. And I don't think I'm gonna try to cover it all cause I like things to look kind of old. So if it has areas that you can see through, for now, I may leave it like that. We'll see. And besides, I'm gonna put some snow on it anyway. So all you have to do is just put this paint on to your desired effect. I might go ahead and put it on all over. I don't know. <laughs> I always change my mind. I never really know what I'm doing, to be honest. I have a general idea but then it's like, mm. but I'm not putting it on real thick. Okay, so I know you know what I'm doing. So for time purposes, I'm gonna get off and finish painting this. It's not really picking up very well on camera, but it definitely, you can tell a difference. I thought I would hop back on here and just show you how I'm painting the front. It's so simple. You just take it and just rake it down through here. Um, well, not rake it, but brush it. And that's so easy and it covers so nicely. So I definitely like using this wider brush. So I'll be back when I get this finished. Okay, here it is. I have all the paint on it. I think it is so adorable. And that's just one coat of the chalk paint but uh, I really do like it. And I went ahead and painted the inside, not as particular on the inside, but you definitely could be more particular on the inside. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm gonna try to figure out which color that I want to start putting on here. And yes, I got some paint on my shirt but I washed it off, but I probably should change my shirt, but I'm hot anyway, so it helps keep me cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put out some real brown. That's the first time I've ever gotten anything on my clothes. I'm gonna get this well-loved brush and just dab it in here and then dab off some excess how I do all my dry brushing. And then we're just gonna see, you could leave it like this if you wanted, but I think I wanna see, I just love things to look old. So 
so we'll see. I think it's really going to give it some character. I think it's going to bring out that dimension in the house. And I think it definitely is doing that. And you can put on as much or as little as you want. But this is the effect that we're getting and I think it really just brings the house to life. So I like that. And you don't really need a whole lot and just dab it off. You could layer other colors if you wanted. I don't know that I will. I may just leave it with this color and then do my other. Um, put the snow on it. We'll see, but I really, and you can see how simple this is. I mean, it's not hard at all, but it really gives, it takes this lantern and gives it a more upscale look. And it definitely brings out all that dimension. And I'm gonna take it around the edges. I'm definitely gonna take it down through the top. And you just start dragging it in a light, very light, and move. Don't stay in one spot. It dries pretty quickly on this um, paint that I have on here. <laughs> I really do like this. This is turning out really cute. down the side where the house comes together to get you more dimension. And this is what we have so far. I love it. You could definitely stop here and you totally transform this little galvanized lantern. It's so cute. I think I will put some on the inside just to go with everything else. just so it'll match better. Like I said, you're really not gonna see in here so much, but it would be nicer if you could, it was kind of uniform, I think. And when you paint this, make sure, like when you do the in, uh, outside, make sure you don't have any runs on the inside. And when you paint the inside, go back and make sure you didn't have any runs coming out of these windows. But it's so simple to do. But it really gives us such a custom look. And then we'll just come right in through here. I'm not gonna put a lot on the inside. I just want it to where you can tell that it matches. And if you don't want to do this step, you definitely don't have to. That's the beauty of making your own. You can do whatever you want. Let's make sure we don't have any runs anywhere. And we don't. Okay, I love this. Now what I wanna do, I'll show you better. I just really think that's adorable. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, and you could add more colors of paint if you wanted. I'm just not going to. Okay, now I'm going to open up my snow text and give it a little bit of a stir. And I'm going to take 
think maybe this little palette knife, I'm kind of just put this on here where I think the snow would be piling up on the center of the roof here. This is going to be adorable. <laughs> Let me show you. Oh my gosh, I love it. So adorable. Now I'm totally right-handed, so let's see. I might be able to do it like this. I have no ambidextrous qualities in my life at all. Luckily for me, snow can pile up differently. And you don't need to use a lot of this um, snow text. Just put it on. And then when I get to this corner, I'm going to try to do something. Well, I'll do that in a minute. Okay, let's just continue with our snow. But I know you know what I'm doing. So for time purposes, I'm going to hop off and then I'll be back when I have it finished. I hope you can see. It seems like there's a glare. Let me try it like this a little bit just to make sure you can see. I always hate it when I'm trying to see something and I can't see it. And I don't want to lose all the dimension that I put on the roof, so I'm not going to... Cover it all up. But you can put as much or as little bit snow as you want. So for time purposes, I'll be back when I get the roof entirely complete. Now on top of my uh, fireplace, I'm just taking a brush and kind of dabbing it on. But I would recommend that you cover this up when you're not using it because it kind of starts trying to dry out. But I love this effect, it's so pretty. But you just want it to look like the snow has piled up in places. And it just looks so cold. What I'm going to be doing is making a village out of all of these. So I'm really excited about how this is turning out. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I love it. I think it's adorable. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do now is put this lid on and start gluing everything on here and then I'm going to add some more snow. Okay, what I'm going to do is get my lights and turn them on and just wound them around this tree. It's really easy. You just start winding it around and you want a lot of lights on your tree. You just go around and around. So you get almost to the bottom. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this tree inside. Okay, so I, what, and then, but for first I do that, I'm gonna get this, this ribbon that I cut, and I cut it about five and a half inches roughly. And I just wanted to make a little tree skirt. You're not going to be able to see much in there, 
but I just wanted to make a little one and I'm just gonna hot glue it here to the base of the tree. Really simple. Just like that, okay? Then we're gonna put, I think I'm gonna glue this tree down just a little bit. I need to move my glue gun. I think I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to hide my battery pack right behind it. I think that's going to be so adorable. Okay. And you could get furniture and put in there if you wanted. I think that would be really pretty. Now let me look at my... I was thinking about using these Dollar Tree um, presents and putting them under the tree. But I only want the blue and the silver because of my theme that I have going. I think that would be really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing these just around here. The possibilities are endless with this. You could do so much. This would even be a nice Christmas gift for someone. I just think it's adorable. Okay. And you can, you know, separate your colors. All right. So that's the inside of our house. I think it's going to be so cute. When you look in, it just looks like a little house. All right. Now what I want to do is take... I got ahead of myself. I do this. All right. I'm going to take some of these little berries and cut them off and it would be much better to do this before you put the tree in here and we're just going to start gluing the bulbs on the tree i hope you can see it i don't know that you can and you could use red ones too And then your tree has ornaments on it. Just don't get them on your um, wire for your lights or it'll be a permanent part. And you can put them in clusters if you want. I think I'll take this, it looks like a little star actually, and stick it right there on top. Even make it look like there's garland on the tree. I mean, oh, you could do so much. One more and that will be it. Okay, and this is what we have inside. I think it is so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna shut this. It just looks adorable through there. I don't know how well you can see. And you could put more of these little fairy lights to give it more light, okay? Now I'm gonna take and you could make your own wreaths if you wanted with pipe cleaners and berries from the Dollar Tree. I just decided I was going to do it like this. And we're going to just take this. And I'm going to hot glue this. Let me see which one I want here. See if there's one that's in better shape. This is so fun to do.
But all their miniatures were on sale at Hobby Lobby. So. I'll put this right here. And then I think I'll take this one and put it right here. So this house will be all festive for Christmas. one right here I love this this is so adorable I feel like I have drug it all over this countertop I hope you've been able to see then we're gonna put this one right in there and my snow is still tacky on the top so I have to be very careful that I don't wipe it off. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I think it is adorable. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, now what we're gonna do, I think is I'm gonna work on the base. I'm not through with this, but I wanna get the base going. So this is really simple. I had my husband just cut me some of this um, plywood. I think it's like a one eighth inch thick. And basically to get the size, it's 10 by 10, but I just took these um, Dollar Tree mirrors and I just laid them down and traced around them and then just cut it. But that's what we're gonna do. So, all right, this is so simple. All you have to do, you can take the feet off Leave the feet on, whatever you want to do. Just make sure you get it lined up where you want it and press down. I think I'll go ahead and put them all on here first and then just pick them up because these mirrors aren't exactly perfect. And you're really not going to see this base much anyway. And then just press down. And then we'll pick this one up. And now we have a base to put our little house on. Now I'm just gonna set my house here. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Okay, so we're not through. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back because I'm going to have a lot of fallout for this next item. Okay, I'm gonna take this that I got at Michael's and cut it to make garland. I may leave this plain. I think I like it better plain. Okay, then we'll go back to our snow. I think I like the simplicity of this. Stir it up. I think I'm just gonna take some right down these windows and make it look like snow has piled up in the windows. Cause it's cold. 
very, very cold. And just let it collect in the windows if it wants. That's great. It's really what you want. Okay, we'll just come down here. Put it in our windows. If it's such a cold day there, I'm sure. <laughs> and you could probably just dab this with a brush if you wanted, but I just find it really easy to use this little palette knife. It, I think I got it at Michael's. It, I mean, yeah, Michael's, and it wasn't very expensive at all. Okay, and then we're just going to put some right here on this door. This door has had a lot of snow, but you don't want to lose all your brown. Okay, and we are almost finished. Okay, here is how it looks. It just looks so cold. Okay, now we'll just set this aside. Okay, now we're just gonna set our little house on here. You could glue it if you wanted. I don't think I want to hot glue mine. Now we're going to just start gluing some trees and we're not through with our snow yet either. Okay, so you need to figure out where you want your trees on your snowy, snowy house. Okay, so I think I'm going to do mine. You want to give yourself enough room so you can snug them in there. Let's see, I think I might like mine like this. I want to be able to get my door open. I think I like that, okay? So what we're gonna do is just put some glue right here and push it down. Then we're gonna come over here, do the same thing. I think I want this one about right here. Okay, then we're going to go in the back. I love this. This is what I'm planning on putting on my countertop. And like I said, I'm going to make a village out of all of them and do them a little bit different. I want that one right there. And then I'll put this one right here. Okay, so no matter how you look at this, it's gorgeous, all right? So, and I had a tree left over. Now what I'm gonna do is take my Santa, and you can either, this is optional, you can put him up there or you don't have to put him up there, but I think I'm going to. I think he'll look really cute. And I'm gonna put him kinda crooked up there. He's getting ready to go down the chimney <laughs> and bring me tons of presents. <laughs> okay, now what you can do, you can leave it like this or you can get your snow out again. Mix it up and right here around your trees, just really Pile it up so it really looks like snow. And you can put it on your mirror too if you want. Just kind of like put it in places to where it looks like it's just snow everywhere. It's a very cold day. You can do that or you can leave your mirror totally um, 
clear. It's just up to you what you want to do. There isn't a right or wrong way to do it. Everybody has different tastes. So as long as you're happy with it, that's the only thing that matters. Or you could just sprinkle snow or cut some of that little blankets. Or like I said, you could just leave this real shiny. And I think that's really pretty too. Whatever you want to do. So for time purposes, I'm gonna go off because I don't want this video to be too long and finish putting my snow around and then I'll be back. Okay guys, here it is. Let me flip this up and pick it up. My snow is still tacky. I ended up gluing down the lantern. I didn't want it sliding, but here it is. I think it is adorable. So pretty from any angle that you look at it. So it'll be beautiful in my kitchen no matter how you look at it. I love it. And it is so easy to do. If you would see this out, you would pay a lot of money for something like this. You really would. And this way you can get your own colors exactly what you like. I couldn't be more pleased with how this turned out. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.